Welcome to Nicholas Workshop. Um, so today's video um, is a request for help and it's really um, aimed at probably the guys who are knowledgeable on uh, MyFords. Um, now just to sort of uh, set the scene, this is a, a 1966 MyFord um, ML7 and it's the long bed version and the tri-lever, we got the tri-lever part here so that's how we change the speeds with those rather than changing pulleys now what um i happened upon last night which sort of is making me make this video is i read somewhere that uh all long bed ml7s have a a thicker lead screw and if we measure it let's turn it on we're in inches there and let's see if I can get that so we're three quarters of an inch or thereabouts um, so the whereas normal uh, ML 7s before a certain date had um, they were smaller now these on the uh, Myford Super 7s that have the power cross feed they have the same size lead screw as this um, and it's interesting when you look at uh, the I also read that the um, the uh, the what we got compound the cross uh, table is a is a my is a super seven one whereas the uh the ml7 is a whole lot smaller <clears throat> so what I, so basically if i'm a if i'm a long bed version long bed versions of an ml7 were shipped with the equivalent of a super seven lead screw and um cross slide a super seven one so the question I'm trying to find out, and I've had a reasonable search around on uh, Google, and I can't find anyone who's got the answer, so maybe one of you guys may, is irrespective of money, because I know it will be an expensive thing, is there, could I fit a Super 7 power feed cross slide to this ML7 because from what I can see this is one of the major um, controlling sort of factors as to why you you cannot yeah so as I seem to have it which is quite surprising to me then maybe I could just slot a if I could find one or and and afford one um, a super 7 power feed uh, cross slide because um, effectively the, it just runs down there's another gear that runs down that still runs off off the uh, the lead screw and you have it somewhere around here there this is slightly different the configuration of the um, of the saddle you've got um, and, and you pull a lever out so it, it goes from instead of traversing uh, that way or that way it traverses in so I seem to have met the requirement to go from a downwards point of view because as we can sort of logically um, if this was thinner as it is on a standard ML7 then the engagement would miss so um, anyway so the question is if I've got that the same as, an, as a Super 7 all this is as a Super 7 could I fit a Super 7 power cross feed or, or basically a saddle from a Super 7 with power cross feed on now I, I can't find anything that tells me doesn't tell me I can do it but also doesn't tell me I can't do it um, so I'm trying to understand what the diff what the differences are this so this seems to be the major one 
but maybe there were other things that I don't know about. So if anyone anyone knows, I'd be grateful if you could add it to the comments. Um, yeah, it's not an immediate thing, and that's why if I put the video out over the next year or two, maybe someone will um, come up with the answer. And if I if I happen across a Super Seven Power feed, then I'll, I'll do my best to pick it up. Okay, well, many thanks for uh, your time and. Um, uh, as always, uh, stay happy, strong and healthy, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio.